Hello beer tubers and welcome to yet another beer review with me here the master of hops today finally getting a, uh, around to reviewing the last bottle of beer I have left from Jens in Germany so thanks a lot to Jens for the beer and I am pretty sure this is going to be a good one this is one of the Brewdog Paradox beers and this is the Brewdog Paradox Grain on 15% now um, I've had only had one Brewdog Paradox beer which is the Brewdog Paradox Smokehead which was really nice uh, but this is, wow, this is the grain, and I, Paradox is probably my favorite BrewDog beer. I, I mean, I've had the Smokehead a lot of times, and it's really nice. Um, but this is uh, the grain version, which has um, uh, been aged in bourbon barrels. Or, well, it's kind of different, I guess. You, it's, uh, it is uh, oak barrels that's been used in America for bourbon, then they've been shipped to Scotland to uh, to uh, to be used for grain whiskey, uh, Scottish grain whiskey, uh, Scotch grain whiskey, and then it's come back to Brewdog. So you get a little bit of the Scotchy notes and the bourbon notes. It should be an interesting. I know a uh, variation on it, uh, Paradox. I know this is a lot of people's favorite, but there it is. It looks pitch black in the glass. It didn't pour pitch black as you saw. It's actually more of a very dark brownish color almost. Not much head, a little lace of a, what do you call that, tan color. It, it didn't get much head, but I guess that's also because it's 15%. So let's check out the aroma. Mmm, yeah, that smells really nice. That is very English, actually, compared to what I remember uh, from the smokehead. Picking up on the alcohol, it does have some alcohol heat to it. But other than that, I'm smelling a lot of dark fruits and dates and figs and like plummy raisiny notes and oh, tons of dark fruits. But then you get the vanilla character that really goes well with that actually. I like that traditional vanilla uh, bourbon-y character. It's basic, basically like, usually I feel like when you use bourbon barrels you get a lot more vanilla. And that's definitely shining through here. I. Don't know if this has been a this grain barrel has been a peated Scotch whiskey barrel, but I don't think so because I'm not smelling any of that at all. So it's probably not uh, one of the, from one of the peated in the regions where they use peated malt. But smelling some of the dark fruits, a little bit of coffee, not much chocolate. It has that fruit cake and basic wine gum aroma to it as well. But really nice oaky woody tannins as well. And the more I smell it, the more I pick up on the vanilla, which pairs really well with that kind of Englishy uh, Imperial Stout character. It smells really nice. Uh, only uh, like minus with it is probably the, the boozy, slightly boozy alcohol, but it's gonna taste. Cheers guys. Wow! Oh, that is nice. The flavor is much different from what I expected from the aroma. It's got a full body, not the fullest of full imperial stout, thick imperial stout, but it's full, lighter side of full. Nice and creamy, but quite interesting um, kind of flavor. Now I'm getting much more roast and chocolate on the flavor, which wasn't really apparent, apparent that much in the aroma. Some coffee notes as well. Oh, I just love barrel aged beer. <laughs> A really nice barrel character, and I definitely pick up that bourbon vanilla -y flavor, but it does almost have like a scotch whiskey type flavor. I feel like bourbon sometimes are more sweet, a little more sweet, and, but after those nice barrel characters, you get a lot of the dark fruits and raisins. They still linger on in there, like dates, figs, plums, all the kind of stuff. I feel like I like this a lot, but I think I might have liked the smokehead a little bit more because I'm just a sucker for smoked imperial stouts and peaty stouts. Uh, so I think that might be why, but this is still really nice. Um, a lot of complexity, date raising figs, definitely the fruit cakey notes with that kind of basset wine gum. And it doesn't have a very long aftertaste. The aftertaste is kind of like the a little bit of the heat and then like the bourbony whiskey, kind of like the barrel character. This is a really nice brew. <laughs> Thanks, all James. That is good stuff. And I, we haven't, or I haven't seen Paradox yeah, from Brewdog in Denmark in ages. Um, I don't even. I think like the only places in Denmark I see Paradox or Brewdog beers at the moment are in the supermarkets, which is kind of odd. 
But really nice of her to start rating wise for this one, guys. I'm gonna go 94. This is a really nice Imper Barrel Ace Imperial Stout. It's not up there with some of the best of the best, but it's still really nice. I'm really digging the kind of traditional English flavors, even though I sometimes prefer, you know, I usually prefer the sweet ones, but I kind of dig that very fruity flavor. Kind of like I also got in the Big Mofo Stout, uh, which I reviewed earlier. So, uh, good stuff guys, definitely let me know what you think of the Brutal Paradox Grain. I think I might like the smoke it a little more as I said, but okay, that's just because I'm a sucker for Pete. So, yeah guys, uh, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. Thanks a bunch to the awesome Jens for this beer. It's been some awesome beer meals you've sent, man. So yeah, cheers, and uh, I'm going to see you guys in another beer review.